hello everyone welcome to all about analytics so in this tutorial we are going to discuss about categorical variable encoding using level encoder and ordinal encoder so when we deal with an, uh, categorical variables so in categorical variables we are having two classes the first one uh, is nominal variables and the second one is ordinal variable so nominal variables are those variables uh, which are having uh, which are having classes present inside them so if you can see this column bridge underscore type so here you can see the arc arc is column beam column truce uh, uh, sorry arc row beam row so these are the different different classes which you cannot measure right these things we cannot scale them for example we cannot measure them uh, how can we define that this is greater or this is not greater right so these kind of those columns which cannot be measured are known as nominal column or they have present or those columns which are having uh, sub classes inside them are known as nominal variables right or nominal columns you can also say them right when we come to ordinal co columns so in case of ordinal columns here as you can see here uh, poor good very good excellent these are classes present inside it right so these are the kind of classes which we can measure right for example if you see that poor is greater than uh, poor is greater than uh, sorry lesser than good okay then very good is greater than good right excellent is greater than very good so these are the classes which we can measure so this kind of columns are known as ordinal call and co ordinal columns so we can apply ordinal coding in them right so when we apply label encoder on these col in the on these kind of columns like bridge types right as you can see in the left on the table which is in left of your left right so in this type of columns we apply label encoding right but in the case of uh, right side table we apply ordinal enco encoding because these are having these are the columns which are uh, having having the values which we can measure but in this case the left side case we will um, these values cannot be measured they are equivalent for example in case of bridge types if you are having colors and different different numbers of colors are placed for example red white blue so how you will define that which number which color is greater than from which right so this is these are the those columns which we cannot measure so this is the major difference between these uh, these uh, uh, encoders right so in this way uh, for example if you see label encoder label encoder is encoding the thing uh, encoding the values uh, using alphabetical manner as you can see here arc arc is 0 beam is 1 then c is coming third right in this way it means it is uh, encoding alphabetical order but in this way uh, but uh, ordinal encoder cannot uh, encode in alphabetical order right so as you can see here we have given poor as 1 good as 2 very good as 3 excellent as 4 so in this way uh, perform encoding to our categorical variables now i am showing you the practical tutorial about this how we can encode this so let's discuss level encoding first right so i am first of all you have to import all those these necessary libraries pandas right uh, this is my data set of house price prediction right in which data set uh, we were previously working okay and these are the first five rows of the data set okay then this function pd dot set underscore option i have told you about this in previous tutorials that this function displays all the rows and uh, all the rows of of all the columns right so this is the sklearn dot preprocessing library i have imported level encoder okay these are the uh, keys uh, these are the column names of our data and this one data this is which in the data which we have imported here this these these are the columns and these are all the column names okay so i'm not performing the level encoding on all, all the columns i am selecting uh, and filtering out only two columns this one the first one is uh, kitchen quality right this one kitchen quality and the second one is building type right so i'm on one column i'm uh, i'm applying level encoding and on another column i'm applying ordinal encoding right so for this is the new data frame which i have created by selecting these columns right so these are the columns which i have selected kitchen quality building time as you can see here right so if we, we see that how many classes are present inside building um, type data underscore i'm sorry data 
ba dot value underscore counts right so this will tell us so as you can see in building type column we are having one two three four five subclasses present inside them right so as you can see here that it is somewhere about uh, it is having some classes present inside them so i am using on th on this column i am using ordinal uh, sorry level encoder right so i will so if you see here one and two both are digits so level and encoder assign one uh, as assign one as zero and here then two is uh, one right then d is three right then t is four and so on <coughs> So I have imported the level encoder class, right? Called the function level encoder. Okay, saved it into a variable. Now I have selected the column which building type. Okay, then use this function fit underscore transform. Okay, level dot encode or fit underscore transform building type, right? So the output which you which I am getting is a numpy array. So I am converting this numpy array into a data frame. So here you can see build encode of transformer, right? I am converting this into a uh, data frame. So after converting into a data frame, you can see over here that it has been converted. Here you can see the building time. I have told you that uh, that one will be assigned as zero, right? And then T will be assigned as four, right? Let's come down. Two will be assigned as one. Three will be assigned as one. And there are many more values. For example, as your D is assigned as two, right? So in this way, it is. It has been assigned. And t has been assigned as three, as you can see. So all uh, different different classes have been assigned to in an uh, in an alphabetical manner, right? So now let's come to the part of uh, ordinal ordinal encoding part. So let's perform ordinal encoding. So for performing ordinal encoding. I'm I'm selecting the column of kitchen quality. So data kitchen quality. Right. So I'm checking that how many classes this data set is having. Value underscore counts. So it is having somewhere one, two, three, four classes. It is present. So I'm explaining you the classes names also. TA is known. Uh, TA is called as typical average. GD is for good. EX uh, stands for excellent, and FA stands for fair. Right. So now I'm assigning the values manually to them. That I wanted to. That which value I wanted to provide a particular column. So I'm using a dictionary for this. Right. So for EX, I'm using value is 4 right for gd i'm using value 3 for ta i'm using value 2 and for fa i'm fair I'm using only one, right? Okay, let's save this into a variable. Variable name uh, name is given ordinal underscore order. This is the order which I'm using inside the column to provide the numerical values for the encoding of 
categorical variables right let's run run this okay now i am creating a new column in which all these value will be saved data underscore two kitchen quality kitchen quality encoded encoded right dot map i'm using map function to map this dictionary into this column right so i'm using mapping these values into a column which i have selected right column this is my kitchen column right of data now I am saving this into a new column. Kitchen quality co encoded. Right. Map that I have done now copy this dictionary inside a map function so that it will be mapped easily, right? Now let's run this. Spelling mistake. And now run this. this is the name of column right so as you can see the warning has been displayed to me and let's see the column name data the encoded values and the data underscore 2 So if you see here that kitchen quality is encoded right, right now right here you see you can see <coughs> kitchen quality as uh, gd i have assigned the value 3 here for uh, ta i have assigned 2 right let's go down more here one fam i have assigned value 4 Yeah, for fair I have assigned value one, and the fourth one is <clears throat> for excellent. Here you see excellent is has assigned four value, right? So in this way you can get, uh, encode your columns by selecting that which column is your nominal uh, for nominal encoder and for which column is for ordinal encoder, right? so thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much please share do uh, share and subscribe